Reef farming in Africa, crop protection. Crop protection is the thing to get right for every farmer in Africa. My name is Pinias Mutueri Kabaka. I'm in Kenya. I'm a crop manager with the Kenya Horticultural Exporters and a nuclear farm. And I would like to share some of the things that I've learned by being a reef farmer in Africa. The first thing in crop protection is knowing what your pests are. In Africa, uh, the major pests that we experience in this uh, mostly in tropics are the reefs, uh, reef miners, mites, cutworms, and spider mites. Those are the major pests that we experience in Africa. You need to know the problems that are specific to your area and to your crops that you are growing at any particular time. After knowing the, what the problem is, you need to have a, stra uh, a strategy that will eliminate or remove the, the pest from the field. This is one of the perfect examples of keeping pest away from the crop. This flower is meant to attract drifts from the crop and then they get into this flower. Another example of getting insects out of the crop is by growing this plant. This is called coriander. It has got a sweet smell that attracts drifts away from the crop and then to the edges. You can then make a decision on whether to introduce a beneficial for drifts or you can make a decision on whether to spray the drifts when they are away from the crop. Whatever the size of your farm, medium, large and small, you have to keep on top of the pest. Understanding their life cycle understanding the habitat and making the decision to spray only when it is needed. Or incorporating other methods that can also be used in controlling pests. These can be cultural methods, these can be physical methods, and they can be biological. The cultural method that helps in, crop, uh, in pest control, an example is crop rotation. One crop, maybe you are planted a legume and then you rotate with a brassica. The two crops does not share the same pest. Legumes have got separate pest, brassicas have got separate pest. And during the rotation, you give the pest time to control themselves because they have got nowhere, um, they have got no ecosystem within the field in where they can survive. The best method that is used in physical control is use of uh, sticky traps where you use um, mainly in insect to use the yellow polythin and um, you put um, a, 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 sticky, a sticky substance on the yellow polythin and all the insects um, that are in the field can be trapped on the sticky yellow trap. Farmers, you don't need uh, to import biological control agents. You can use what is already existing in your, in your farm, only giving it time to multiply and rejuvenate. My message is to make life easy for your beneficial insects. You need to know what you have and how you can encourage them to multiply. You see around this farm, we have got a lot of mist growing. First of all, mist is planted as windbreak. You can hear the wind now, it's actually blowing at a very high speed. It's also an habitat for beneficials. A lot of my beneficial friends will be living inside the maze planted on the hinges of the block. As a vegetable farmer, I am come to be very interested in insects and who eats who. An example of beneficials in this farm is Digraphus isaii, which is a very tiny insect similar to white fry, and the rubber of the Digraphus fins on the rubber of the reef miner. If Digraphus are not enough, we multiply them in an entomology site in a biofactory which is in the farm, and then we introduce them when the populations of reef miner are at the right at the right directions. 
the decision to spray is done after establishing the threshold levels. These are the methods that I use for regular scouting in the field. The first step is to identify the scouting stations in each field. They are selected randomly and they are a total of 10 in each block, that is one hectare. And then with this crop, I normally do the physical count of the pests in each particular station and then they are recorded from 1 to maybe a duration of 10 or 15. When the number is at the right duration, that's when I make the decision to spray this particular crop. My final advice to you farmers, wherever you are in Africa, is that integrated farm management helps you to reduce the cost of your inputs and you spend less and you get better production.